what's happening, people? I got the 33 1.4. I, I swore I wasn't going to do it. And then I went and did it. And now I have it. So let's go take some photos. So I'm liking the way this feels on the X-Pro3. You know, the X-Pro has a pretty decent body. It's a bigger body. It feels great. It doesn't feel that much uh, heavier or uh, unbalanced. And uh, so far, I'm excited. I'm here at uh, Heron Haven watching grasshoppers jump around the place. And uh, I'm going to shoot some nature. I'm going to use ISO 160. I think that's what it is. 160. Just because uh, I have so much light coming in with the 1.4. And then my aperture is going to be set to 1.4. I'm going to change my shutter speed as necessary to get what I need to get and uh, shoot some nature shots and, and have some fun. First shots with the 33 1.4 and I'm pretty excited. This is going to be fun. So I always loved the look of the 35 1.4. Beautiful images, had some character to it. You know, a lot of the things that you've probably already heard before, great lens, but I never totally, totally, completely trusted it. And by the way, I'm looking at my beard and it's out of control, holy cow. But anyways, side note, this thing, after about 10, 15 shots, it focuses a little bit faster and seems to lock on a little bit more. Like you can't really hear it, it's super quiet. And as of right now, it looks pretty cool. We'll see later how many things are in focus. I'm also not shooting hard things. It's not a windy day and I'm shooting nature. So that's one of those situations that almost any lens is gonna be great with. But, you know, when I put my focus point on a certain spot, I want that to be in focus every single time, right? I wanna be confident that it is. And if we're totally honest, it's not always the case with Fuji that that's the, the gonna be perfectly in focus, especially with a lens that's a little bit slower and that's, doesn't seem to be the case so far. I reviewed the images real quickly a little bit and they look like they're in focus. So this is gonna be, this is gonna be a great thing. So let's uh, take some more photos. I'm unfortunately one of those people that loves gear. And so far the 33 1.4 is a lot of fun to shoot with. It's really cool. So <laughs> I uh, go to places that I, I know when I'm testing out lenses, just because I want to focus on the experience and the, the camera and the lens. I'm also not a guy that shoots like charts or cares too much about edge sharpness or anything like that. I'm really into what can it do for me? What can it do for my experience of taking photographs? And then do the final images, do they, how do they look? Do they look awesome? And so far looking at the camera, they look like they're pretty cool out of the camera. It's focusing super fast and it's a lot of fun so far. Let's keep shooting. Okay, so that's it for Heron Haven. We're gonna take the 33 1.4 out to the country. The cool thing about living in Omaha is you're like five minutes away from the country or the city. So it's kind of fun. So far I'm loving the 33 1.4. It's a lot of, a lot of uh, cool bokeh, right? Cool background blur and uh, I'm just excited to see the photos. All right, so now I'm on the country. It's like eight, 10 minutes away maybe. And it's beautiful out here. The sky actually looks great if you don't look at it like this. And uh, the 50 millimeter equivalent on the Fuji is awesome to have. Uh, I know it was very similar on the 35 1.4, but this is almost exactly 50. And maybe my brain is just telling me I can see the difference, but it feels like the old school 50 millimeter on a full frame, which is like a lot of fun to shoot with. It's a classic focal length, right? And the 1.4 looks absolutely stunning so far. The quality looks amazing, but I'm only looking at it in the camera. So I guess the 
true test will be later on. So I got about 30 minutes of shooting before I have to go and pick up my son from a play date. I'm gonna keep going down this country road and let's see, uh, see what else is down there. Well, that concludes my first experience out with the 33.4. It was fun. The lens is uh, pretty cool. I don't like the manual focusing. It's really jumpy and it's not smooth at all. Luckily, the autofocus works great. In the manual focus, I'm mostly working to uh, to bring something close enough for my autofocus to lock in on. So uh, that's my biggest complaint so far. And I haven't looked at the images yet, so maybe I'll check those out. And then I need to really, I need to shave, man. Holy cow. So hope you enjoyed. We will talk to you later. If you have any questions about the 33, I'll be making some more videos with it, I'm sure. And uh, just ask away and I'll see what I could do to, to answer them.